I've decided I want to show you the commit process. I know I've shown this to you before, but we all, we've we added a new file here, and I realize I've added files in other videos, and I haven't shown you how to make sure to get them in. Um, let me right-click here and do a SVN commit. And notice it comes up with several files. A lot of them are unchecked because I'm not worrying about getting them in my repository, and a lot of these files are the trash files. So that can be kind of intimidating to search through these, and you can... Uh, right click on these and add to ignore list and say hey ignore t log files so then the t log files disappear or they should disappear <laughs> let's see add cannot add to the ignore list see and this is kind of hokey maybe you're using a better subversion than i am i'm going to hit cancel here and just a nice way to get rid of all that stuff quickly is to clean your solution which will get rid of the temporary trashy files if you would and then here uh oh look look I forgot to include oh, this is terrible vector 2d dot h vector I want the inl in fact I'm gonna click on extension just group them together I want my inl file and I want my vector 2h file 2dh file included in this commit is there anything else I've missed I don't want ipch uh, I don't want the temp cpp remember we're gonna remove that when we actually get a real compilation unit in our engine project uh I think we're good so. Let me go here and say scalar multiplication and testing done on vector 2D like so and a lowercase m. Click OK. The commit goes up. Wait for it. Completed. Click OK. That's my save game. I got my green check. Sometimes Tortoise SVN, if you're using Tortoise, it won't update these and it'll stay red or stay yellow or whatever. And it takes a while for it to actually update with, with what's really going on. Now, a good way to make sure that what you've committed is going to work is to make a new folder and recheck out what you've committed. And then if it works in that separate folder, then you can feel pretty good that it's going to work um, elsewhere and you, you got everything committed that you should. But if it doesn't work in that separate folder, then you need to investigate what files did I not commit that I should have, that sort of thing. And then another best, the best way to see if it's going to work on another machine is to do a checkout on another machine. And that'll tell you if your environment uh, stands alone as it is, or if you need to include some files or tweak some settings, or that sort of thing. Now, I told you in this video I'm going to show you how to organize this a little bit better. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. The cheap and easy way, not necessarily the most effective way, is to say add new filter and notice it says new filter not new folder I told you that these vir these folders are virtual they're they only have meaning to the project they're not replicated directly on the hard drive as is so I can do a new filter here and call this math I can grab these vector files drag it into math and then this math filter folder is where I'll put all my mathy things okay that's one way of doing it and if I'm feeling lazy which most of the time I will I'll just rely on this but on the actual hard drive in the actual file I'm going to go to engine here and you can see that these two files vector 2d.h and vector 2d.inl are still sitting here in the root folder of the project there's not a math folder that they're sitting in so if I really want them in a math folder I can make that happen so let me show you how to do that I'm going to drag these back out to the engine project level click on this filter delete it yep it's going to be removed that's fine and then I'm going to click here I'm going to say show all files and now we can see that oh there's all the files that are in our folder here like this IPCH you see it shows up there the debug folders there we don't necessarily want them part of the project but now we can at least see them in Visual Studio well now when I right click on engine and I, and I say add I get new folder not new filter I'm actually going to create a literal folder on my hard drive. So new folder, I'm going to call this math, hit enter, you'll see that math shows up right here in the actual drive. And then, I have to be dangerous here, I mean I have to be careful here because I could grab these, oops, I could grab these and drag them into math like I did before, but if I do that, then what's going to happen, it's, it's going it, to, it'll move them on my hard drive, but the repository, my Tortoise SVN or my SVN, my repository is still going to track that these two are sitting in the root. And then what's worse is if I add this math folder to my repository, now i got a vector 2D copy here and a vector 2D copy sitting out here. So, I don't know. There's, there's a couple ways to get around that. I guess, 
I guess what we could do, let me just show you one way. I'm going to drag these, drop them there, and you see that they're gone here. All right, they're no longer here, but the repo still thinks they're there. So if I go right click and say update, then it's going to come back and say, hey, those files disappeared. I'm going to restore them for you. It's like, ah, oh, oh no, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Click OK, go into engine here, and now I, like I said, I'd get, I have both of them here, and when I go to math, they're both in here now as well. These ones aren't versioned yet, that's why they don't have the green icon. So what do we do at this point? Well, a little bit of handwork here. I'm going to right click, tortoise SVN, delete them. Now when I do a commit, they'll be deleted from my repository. Right click here, uh, Taurus SVN, add, and it says, okay, I'm going to add the math folder and all the subfiles in it. Click OK, completed, we're good. Now I could do a commit, but I'm going to try to be smart, and before I do a commit, I'm going to come over here and, and make sure my tests are still green, because I just moved some files around, I want to make sure that my tests show up green. So, Control F5, build started, wait for it build errors. It's almost like I knew that was going to happen, huh? <laughs> uh, and I hate this error message. I really should... Maybe I'll check this. It says, there were build errors. Would you like to run the last version? Well, why would I want to run the last version? I want to run the version I'm trying to do right now. I don't want to run the last version. I think it's funny that they even asked this question, but whatever. I'm going to say no, and please don't bug me about that any ever again. Click no. Oh, look. Cannot open vector2d.h. Well, of course you can't open vector2d.h. Alright, and remember this is in the the vector2 tests. Okay, and the reason why is because we put it in the math folder now. And we set up our include paths to search in here in the engine level, not in the engine slash math level. So, here we go. I'm going to say math slash and now I get vector2d.h. Control shift B. Let's see if it builds. Bring the Visual Studio up a little bit so you can see it better. Build succeeded. Control F5, run it. Ah, nice and green. I'm feeling good. My tests caught me. I'm feeling good. This is great. Go over here. My engine. Right click. Commit. Uh, let's see. Put vector 2D files into a math subfolder. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, everything looking good. Files are good. Click OK. The commit goes up. Completed. Feeling good about that. Get the green checkbox. Oh, I'm, I'm good to go. All right. So hopefully you're 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 getting a feel for the difference between what's on the hard drive versus what's in your project versus uh, what's in the repository up on in SVN land or Subversion land or whatever repository you're using. Hopefully you are using some sort of repository. You'll see that we have to we have to deal with this issue a lot as we're maintaining things. So there's two options. Like I said, I could do the don't show all files trick, and then now now I'm back to virtual folder filters or whatever. Or I can just literally go off what's on the hard drive. The disadvantage of the hard drive is now this IPCH and debug folders are showing up. I don't know if you want to deal with that. If you don't, and then another inconsistency is we've set it up to work here for using what's literally on the hard drive whereas these are using virtual folders as well. So I think consistency is important and um, using what's on the... I, I think, I don't know, the advantage to using the filters is they're so much faster and easier. The disadvantage is now you, your actual file structures can be and very quickly becomes very different from, from what you have nicely organized here in the engine project. But I do like here where I have to do the include. Now it's almost like a namespace. I have to say, well, math slash vector2d.h instead of putting everything, just include vector2d.h and include uh, my artificial intelligence file.h and include my logger.h and all that. And st now we're kind of segregating these or organizing, grouping these files into folders that make sense. So personal preference decision you do what you want to do. This is how I, I think I'm going to keep rolling with this just because I'd like this to be a nice clean project and I'm going forward and trying to do my unit tests and that sort of thing.